Greetings, we are known as Project Scorpio and we are part of Oxford Student Association at Wrocław University of Science and Technology. We come from different universities and consist of six different departments – Mechanical, Electronical, Software, PR, Finance and Science. Scorpio 7 has dependent four-wheel rocker suspension system. Rockers are connected by two triangle levers linked by a beam. This solution increases stiffness and stability of the whole suspension. Thanks to that, in can cross extreme terrain such as obstacles up to diameter of the wheel about 30 cm and vertical cliffs up to 1 meter. Very low center of mass allows us to overcome steep angles up to 45 degrees. Driving module features all-wheel drive with BLDC motors which help the rover climb slopes in extreme retrieval and delivery mission. To provide good traction, we use special tires made from Cordura fabric. We are also experimenting with flexible 3D printed materials and polyurethane rubber casting. Robotic arm has 6 degrees of freedom. It's designed with use of warm and harmony gear reducers in order to maximize precision and stiffness. It has a maximum range of 1.2 meter and it can lift up to 5 kilograms on maximum extension. As main construction materials, we use carbon fiber, aluminum and PETG to provide necessary strength to mass ratio. We also reduce its mass by about 1 kilo. Reapers, moved by a lead screw, gives us satisfactory grip strength. In order to complete all necessary tasks, we will mount an hex key and linear solenoid at the effector. For precise typing and operating joystick, we are incorporating 3D inverse kinematics. Our rover is powered by 6S LiPo batteries connected to other modules by 24 volts bus. Driving module is equipped with visible kill switch that cuts power from batteries in case of emergency. Every PCB made by us has over voltage, over current and reverse polarity protection. As our main computer, we use NVIDIA Jetson TX2 with multiple auxiliary mini computers in form of Raspberry Pi. To connect every computer, camera and other heavy traffic modules, we use an Ethernet link. Other modules, such as Robotic Arm, Drive, GNSS and Science, use CAN bus to provide robust communication. Our communication system is based on 2.4 AirMax technology, suitable for long-range applications. Vision systems consist of four cameras, each one fulfilling different purpose. First one is our navigation camera. It's capable of rotating in two degrees of freedom. Second camera has an ultra-wide lens and is mounted on the front of the rover. Third camera is a stereo camera mounted on a mast. The last camera is mounted on a gripper, allowing us to effectively operate the robotic arm. Our systems were completely redesigned from the ground up over the past year. To make it more modular and easy to develop, we decided to use robot operating system as a base for our work. Onboard sensors like Z0 camera, GNSS and inertia measurement unit in combination with extended Kalman filter give us precise location of the rover during each task. To operate the rover, we developed a custom app with widgets for most important rover modules. Our software team has also created an accurate representation of our rover in simulation environment using Gazebo to easily test autonomy algorithms and other software solutions. Robotic Arm uses Move It package to implement 3D inverse kinematics. It still does precisely control movements of the end effector in equipment servicing mission. For the autonomous navigation, we utilize Rust navigation stack in tandem with our own solutions. To indicate operation mode, we attached a bright LED at the back of the rover. To provide training for our operators, we are organized our own internal competition, mirroring URC tasks. Our rover is equipped with many sensors, temperature, humidity and pH, but the most important are nitrogen, potassium and phosphorus sensors. They allow us to measure content of mentioned elements in the soil in order to choose the best place to take samples from. To complete the science task, we have designed a module mounted on the robotic arms place. It's made of soil composition sensor as well as self-developed urban spectrometer. Module is designed to test soil below the rover without taking physical samples. For now, the robotic arm gripper is also capable of taking soil samples and putting them in the previous version of science module ULEP. Further analysis consists of using a Raman spectrometer. Spectral data received from this device will be crucial for examining the composition of the sample. Our team will be looking for Raman shifts characteristic for compounds such as amino acids which will state the presence of life. At this moment our spectrometer is still under development. Science module also has a microscope to give us possibility of examining soil. It allows us to find microfossils which may state the presence of life in the past. All data collection from sensors is done by our web app to make it easy to view and analyze.